Welcome back, everybody, to another episode. I'm right in your just, neck. I just see you just like every now and then. Right in your neck. It's just, right. Let's see if I can. There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Tiny Gig Bills. Last week we brought you the classic cornhole boards. This week we stuck some LEDs on them. That's right. We added the old LEDs. You yeah. know we had to do it, baby. Bills. Okay, guys. Last week we did these cornhole boards here, came out great, but we had to one up it. We needed to throw the tech in there and we needed to get some lights on these bad boys to help us keep score. So the plan is to stick some lights on here to keep score. We're gonna have a button on here where we can manually keep score. And we're going to draw some lines here, drill some drill some holes through so we can stick, a, stick the lights through and we'll have each team's score here. If you saw our old scoreboard video, it's gonna be pretty similar to that. It's got the same dimensions, and it'll have the same, the same style score coming up on here. So if you guys like that one, this one's gonna be even bigger and better over at the builds, baby. the back because you have these nasty splintery just it's bad back here don't look back here but we're gonna add the lights now these are WS 2811 LEDs and we're gonna form them in a serpentine pattern for each number and then we're gonna start from the last one and come right up here and then start our serpentine pattern again and we want to make sure when we put these in we're gonna hot glue them to secure them we're gonna make sure not to push all the way through so that it doesn't you know kind of uh, just pierce the top of the board we're gonna put it back a little bit, and then fill in that gap with epoxy. See, the shed here, guys, <laughs> it's a little bit tight. But we got the uh, tabletop epoxy here. Gonna do a little mix and pour, just to fill this up so it's a smooth surface on here. No extra gunk or crap's gonna be getting in the in the boards here, just to keep those lights fresh. Clear. So, clear, yeah, we're gonna do the clear epoxy. These will shine pretty well through there, we're hoping, and uh, it's a build. Build. Okay, a little flame action. A little flame, all right. So the epoxy just cured, it's pretty hard. And now we're gonna sand off this and get to the veneer. I'm worried about ripping this veneer up when I sand it. We're gonna start with 50, then 80, then 120. We'll see how it goes. If I start ripping it too much, I'll do a little lighter one and we'll just see how that goes from there. So definitely not terrible, but pretty flat. I'm gonna see if I can go back with this and clean up some more with like maybe 180. This will get it even better. But pretty pretty solid win for us right here. Great, now that the front looks sanded and it's pretty good, we're gonna start soldering the connections on the back. We're gonna use an ESP8266. So we're gonna connect these in a snake pattern here. So we have the serpentine <clears throat> and the serpentine. We're gonna continue the connection here to here. And then we're gonna hook up the ESP8266 somewhere in here. I'm a little worried about the shock of the, the bag sitting the board and kind of maybe either screwing with the microcontroller or knocking it loose. So I'm gonna to try to adhere it kind of on the side somewhere. I think it'll be less shock. And then we're gonna add the buttons somewhere on the side here as well. And I think that'll do it. We did it. We did it, guys. We're close. Great. So we have the lights strung up. They're soldered. Everything good. We have the circuit kind of set up. Basically, there's two push switches over here. The black will decrease the score. The red will increase the score. 
and then they're just hooked up in a simple kind of pull up resistor here, a voltage in and then ground. And both of those are set to different digital inputs on the uh, ESP8266. Separately, we have the ESP8266 connected to the lights. Basically, we have you know a single number show up here and here separately based on the actual score. And it goes up to 21 because we're playing cornhole, but you can adjust that if you'd like. We could just increase and decrease the score as is, and it shows right on the old boy. All right, let's test this sucker out, eh? Builds. <laughs> This backyard build got upgraded with the LEDs. We can't wait to play this thing all summer. Came out sick. If you are interested in what the code looks like, Tyler linked that below for you guys. There's a little bit more details on how that happened. <laughs> you have no contacts on it. You have I know. No I'm just thinking, okay, the code. Uh... Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, guys. We really appreciate the support. Over here at the Build Studio. That's right. You want to see us next week? I think we had a tech one, I believe. So Coming up, tuned. yep. A little tech build. And all you helium lovers out there, keep waiting. Don't worry. We're, we're coming back with that little dip in the market. We'll bring it back to you soon, baby. Builds. Builds.